Challenging Fat Phobia at the buzzer, and then we're going into What's OT. What's in the box? All right, we got another video to watch in OT, so make sure that you are ready to change over. One of my favorite questions oh. when it comes to challenging fat phobia Challenge. is nice snake if tattoo. you were doing all of the healthy habits you wanted and you were feeling good in your body, why would it matter if you lost weight or not? Because what I usually hear people what? talking about is that they want to lose weight so they can feel better. But what happens if you're feeling better, if you're taking care of yourself the way you want to and you don't lose weight? What are then you're probably not changing your habits. <laughs> if you have extra fat to lose and you're not losing it, then you're probably not changing the right habits. Yeah, I don't, I don't, uh, this doesn't really make sense. What are you going to do then? Are you going to do the thing that doesn't feel good? Because like challenging yourself sounds like it's defeating the purpose then. If the point is to feel good, then focus on and do the things that feel good. Uh, no, that's not how you make pro proper adaptations. So you think you're supposed to feel good and you're supposed to do things that feel good. You're supposed to do things that get the results to optimize your wellness. You're supposed to do things that challenge. You're supposed to do things that your body requires. It doesn't have to feel good. Does training feel good? After a long time, once you actually build that foundation and you start like looking forward to it, it becomes a huge cornerstone of your life at the beginning. It's not supposed to feel good. I don't go out. I'm like, I don't train. I'm like, oh my, I mean, it feels, I've been doing it for my fucking home, almost my whole life. It feels great, but it, it hurts and it's hard. You just get used to that. You just get used to associating that burn and that, you know, that physical strain with the results that you get, but it takes time to build that. It's uncomfortable. It's supposed to burn. The only way you build muscle is by being ruthless to your body. You have to push through. You have to do more reps and more sets when it fucking hurts. So this chick is so full of shit. It's coming out your fucking eyes. Why does weight loss have to be in the mix at all? It will be. See, you're trying to complain. You're complaining, acting like you're just going to lose weight, like you're just going to chop it off your body. You just don't want to change your habits. You want to keep on eating your Krispy Kremes and pretend like you're getting healthier doing that. You change your habits. Yeah, that's going to be part of the outcome. Weight loss is a side effect of proper habitual change. And it's fat loss, not weight loss. You're building muscle. So fuck your weight loss. You might actually go up on the scale. You want to lose fat, extra stored fat, energy stores you don't need that cause health problems. You I'm going to be talking more about this in my intuitive eating masterclass tonight. So. Uh, intuitive eating masterclass. Oh, the intuitive eating masterclass. Max Excellent. Okay. You have to go to a masterclass to learn how to fucking eat what you feel like eating. Intuitive eating. I feel like having cupcakes. Ho, ho, ho. Thanks for the masterclass. Thanks for the, thanks for the masterclass. Thanks for the lesson. Glad you taught me about how to eat intuitively. Hmm. I feel like pizza. That's what your body wants, hun. So if you want to change the way you relate to food and body, go to the link. In my yeah. Bio. If you want to lie to yourself, if you want to change and make proper, make more complicated verbiose or verbose, um, I should say verbose, uh, excuses, join my masterclass. So we'll be able to fuck your brain over more. You'll be able to practice your cognitive dissonance and pretending like your actions don't have negative outcomes. All right. Good justification for being a fat ass. Excellent.